Hey everybody, today's video is going to be on decades old animal products. Some of these are bats, some of them are vitamin supplements for the animals. I'm just going to be showing them. This video is for the sole purpose of showing the old vintage bottles that they used to come in. These products, because of their advanced age, I would never actually trust them on an animal anymore. I am keeping them around just for their vintage value. Some of these bottles, you may notice it says that they have to be given to you by a veterinarian. The reason I have those is because my father for many years was a veterinary technician and they're still just sitting around. Most of these have been in the basement for at least 20 years, but some of them are as old as the 60s, but most of them are from the 80s. I'm going to start off with the one which I know is the oldest, called Linitone Skin and Coat Conditioner. It shows a picture of a cat and dog, but if you go around back and you look at the instructions, what it's going to show, you can also use it on birds. You see what it shows here? Ingredients. And there's your date, 1963. I'm not going to open this up or anything. It's been closed for such a long time. And look at that. You see the liquid in there? It's something settled because it hasn't been shaken up in such a long time. And it says recommended daily dose. I don't know if this is something you add to the water and you bathe the animal in or if you actually give it to the animal. I could be wrong, but I think you give it to the animal since what it shows. You give dogs a couple teaspoons. No, it says one fourth teaspoon up to a one and a half for big dogs, but birds only a couple drops. Not exactly sure what this is used for. As in, if you give it to the animal with food or something. But there's the bottom of the jar. Even the jar is nice, because back then it was actually stamped into it, instead of just the label alone. And on top it says LK. I don't even, I don't think this business is even in business anymore. I've never seen anything like that at the pet store. Now this next thing is for fleas, ticks, and mites on your cat or dog. This is from the 70s which you'll see in just a moment when I get to that. I'm showing this in case anyone wants to pause the video and read any of the old directions or ingredients. There it is, 1978. I'm going to give this a quick open up so you can see what's inside it. Unlike these days, they, they used to come in a nice glass jar. I hope it has all your precautions on it. Keep out of reach of children. So you see, even in the 60s, they had the precautions. This is for reptiles, AIDS, shelling, so it helps their shell grow. I don't see a date on it, although this does look newer as in the 80s. It, it's, I don't, none of this stuff is new. Oh, this next thing is called a guana calcium spray. Well, it's new enough to have that recycling triangle. Those old containers didn't have the recycling triangle because they didn't recycle back then. It was way too old. This is shampoo.
Yeah, these, these containers are filthy because they've been sitting on a shelf collecting dust for a long time. This next thing here, which is just about empty, is called Bitter Apple. I actually have a video on my channel using this stuff, the modern version of it, to keep my cat from chewing all my charging cables. Because that's what this stuff is for. You spray things, and it's, it tastes disgusting, so it stops animals from chewing your stuff, such as furniture, wires. You gotta use that when you have a puppy, a rabbit, a playful cat, because they chew things. I believe the new one is actually called Bitter Lime, not Bitter Apple like the older stuff here. This next thing is called Reptile Cleaner. This is for soaking and bathing in. A lot of these containers, they don't have dates on them. But you see back then it was $9.50. These things could be as new as the 90s, I'm not sure. Because the prices are pretty high on them for being old. And they do have that recycling triangle, which they started in the 80s. The 70s didn't have that much as far as recycling goes. This you spray in your bird's cage because birds are known for getting mites. This is another bath. This is for iguanas. Again, some of these things are soap, so they might still be good, but I wouldn't want to trust it. This here, you can see, is brand new. It's still got the... It says sealed for your protection. And these are vitamins. Really old vitamins. Oh, it says formulated by Zoomed. They're definitely still in business. I see their stuff all the time. This is a powder. And the last item is called Bunny Bath. This is soap for cleaning your pet rabbit with aloe vera. Shampoo and deodorizer. If you like this video and you want me to do another, leave in the description that you found this interesting. I'm not sure. I've never done one like this with animal products. Thanks for watching.